Medicine kit and unemployment benefits became available. Thousands of Tennesseans have waited months to get a check. The state labor department has added extra staff to handle the unprecedented number of people filing claims, and the state says catching up takes some time. A well, self-employed subcontractor waiting on his benefits tells Six on Your Side consumer reporter Don Dare about a message he got recently from the state about his benefits, Don. Well, that's right, no, uh, Lori. The, the note came from the Department of Labor addressed to Barry Lawson. It says, because he filed for unemployment and continues to certify, his benefits will be ending tomorrow, November 7th. When we first met him nearly two weeks ago, he was waiting on his benefits and still is. Since mid-September, Barry Lawson has been living in a motel in Knoxville. As a self-employed tile installer, he lost his job because of the pandemic months ago. He filed for state and federal COVID-19 unemployment benefits in August. Then when I call them, they, they tell me it's, it's in progress. Barry says he's registered weekly for unemployment on the state labor department's website. With no job or income, he lost his apartment. Then his mother helped and paid for his stay at a motel. And if it went for my mom, I'd be, I'd be living down at the mission. She took out a credit card for me. Barry said he'll pay back his mother once he gets his unemployment check, but it hasn't arrived yet. In Nashville, the state told us its reviewers at the Labor Department look more closely at claims filed by self-employed workers in an effort to crack down a potential fraud. As a result, the approval process, we were told, is slow for those filers. I understand that, but I mean, it's been nine weeks now. And every time I call, they say, give us two weeks. Recently, you... You got through to, to someone at the state about your benefits? Yeah. And she said, well, I looked at your claim and everything looks good. It's, they're just waiting on to be reviewed. We first interviewed Barry nearly two weeks ago. The good news is I was able to receive my unemployment, and I've been out of work since March 10th. We reported last week how Catherine Bunch, she's also a self-employed worker, finally received her benefits after we contacted the state. Her claim had been delayed due to a careful examination of her self-employed status. Earlier this week, Barry Lawson received an email from the State Department of Labor. I finally got a response after 10 weeks. And the response is, your benefits are ending. And I'm like, what benefits? I haven't received anything yet. I've never had to depend on the government for anything like this in my entire life, never. You'd rather be and working? I'd rather be working, I've always worked. He read the short message from the state. You're receiving this message because you filed for unemployment insurance this calendar year. If you are still certifying each week for a federal unemployment program, your benefits are ending or could end soon. We asked the state about the delay in Mr. Lawson's benefits. We were told this is one of those claims that will take time because we had to wait for wages from Georgia where Mr. Lawson worked last year and now it needs to go through the adjudication process in Tennessee. What do you do now? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm in a hole. Can't get out of it. Monday, this Monday I'll be homeless. This is my last week here. Now, the issue for self-employed workers seeking unemployment benefits is they have to send a copy of their tax form to the state. Since Mr. Lawson not only worked in Tennessee, but also in Georgia, the verification process is very slow. And to speed things up, he plans to immediately send to Nashville those employment documents when he worked in Georgia. Lori? Oh, my goodness. All right, Don, thank you so much. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or call his Six on Your Side hotline. The number is 865-633-5974.